among America's top wildlife parks. In South Florida, freshwater, swamplands, and wetlands meet saltwater and mangroves to create a subtropical wonder. Everglades National Park protects the only Everglades in the world. Everglades National Park is the last vestige of any kind of wild lands in the east. Because Everglades National Park sits at the southern tip of Florida, and Florida is a rapidly developing state, there's a lot of pressures. A flat seabed submerged at the end of the last ice age forms the base for rooting plants along a shallow river of grass. It's a migration corridor, a sanctuary, a feeding and breeding ground for over 350 species of birds and more. Where we sit on the latitude that we're at, I mean, we get a lot of the temperate animals, in other words, the ones that in North America you're always used to, uh, bears and, and, and for this matter, uh, mountain lions or cougars, and we get the more tropical species like alligators and manatee and dolphins and sea turtles. So it's kind of where these two systems kind of overlap. That's what really makes this place uh, very unique. Many depend on the fragile wetlands impacted by development hundreds of miles upstream. Looking for the nest. Originally established to protect the ecosystem, scientists monitor keystone species as a barometer of the health of the Everglades. A lot of people ask you the question as well, what good's an alligator? A lot of times when they mound nests and things like that, vegetation gets started on that nest and sometimes they can literally create tree islands as a result of that. So they're, you know, they're really important for maintaining the system. I'm only let her come to about the length of my stick then I'm gonna have to get her back, okay? There's one egg. And as it is with any big predator like this, uh, you know, they're dependent upon the animals that are there. If you've got good, healthy alligator populations here, then you've got a good, healthy system. The park is a habitat for another keystone crocodilian. At the end of the Everglades, this rare reptile inhabits the brackish areas where fresh and salt water meet. For the American crocodile, restoration of nesting habitat and the creation of a croc sanctuary has increased the numbers of this reclusive predator. For the creatures of the Everglades, it's a delicate balance reproductive cycles are in sync with the wet and dry periods. Despite hurricanes and tropical storms, climate and sea levels have remained fairly constant for some 5,000 years. An international biosphere reserve and World Heritage Site, it's an ongoing challenge to ensure the natural rhythms of the Everglades carry on and on.